Cao Min Wu lives in a storage depot in the Paris suburbs of Aubervilliers. He doesn't usually talk to journalists, but agreed to do so in the presence of two members of the Association of Chinese Immigrants in France. He claims that a group of North African youths attacked him in his home in November. They took a knife and tried to break open the door. Wu tried to resist and incurred a severe head injury. All the rent money for this accommodation block and all cell phones were stolen. Wu's wife has since gone to live with relatives. How do you feel now? I'm scared. I don't feel safe anymore. Police registered almost 200 muggings and attacks on the ethnic Chinese community of Aubervilliers last year. Many were reportedly committed by criminal gangs, often of North African origin. Some locals openly voiced their prejudices. That's the way it is. I don't like the Chinese, I don't know why, but I don't. The Chinese have become too rich in France. Too rich? And that's not fair? Well, I think it's not fair. They're now in the category of people with nice clothes and big cars. The 70,000-strong ethnic Chinese community in France has earned a reputation for being hard-working and discreet. The North African communities are considered to be less successful as a whole. Something new is happening, and it's linked to a competitive ideology that's beginning to appear. The Chinese are considered to be a community where things go well, where people manage on their own and are quiet, compared to other immigrants who are much more demanding and consider themselves as victims and might consider this Chinese community as competition. The Chinese textile industry in Aubervilliers has grown massively over the past 20 years. And more and more immigrants have come from China to make a better living for themselves in France. Wu used to teach geography in China and is a pillar of the Chinese community here. He feels let down by the police. <laughs> My French isn't that good, so the police just didn't believe me. Those young North Africans just claimed that there was a fight between all the people who lived here. But that's just not true at all. The authorities have come under fire for not paying enough attention to intercommunal strife in the suburbs. Some sociologists blame the lack of interest on a larger political calculation. The ethnic Chinese community tends to vote on the right, whereas the North African community is more likely to vote left. We're faced with groups that are more and more shaping themselves in terms of identity, especially when it comes to our first community, which we call Muslim, in inverted commas. That's the way the state identifies and describes it, and this encourages preferential treatment. There is a suspicion that the authorities' passive attitude has led to an increase in attacks on the ethnic Chinese community. Last summer, a man died five days after being mugged. Yvonne Sun, president of the Chinese Association, has been trying to persuade families to overcome their shame and to report attacks. A group of youths mugged this girl and threatened her with a knife. I think the law has to be changed. And the police has to carry out its work. The police do a lot of work in their offices and spend a lot of time on reports and on complaints. Wu is still waiting for compensation and for his attackers to be put on trial. It could be a long wait.